Have you ever lost something that was irreplaceable, something with deep sentimental value? Well, that's exactly what happened to a Minnesota woman who recently lost a one-of-a-kind necklace. And even though, though the odds of finding it are pretty much stacked against her, she refuses to give up hope. Here's Amy Hawker. Well, I'm going to be going to Hawaii. Lynn Cook has been lucky enough to travel the world and back, always with her husband of 43 years, Mike, by her side. They even had a favorite vacation tradition, combing beaches for sea glass. Mike and I would always pack this because we'd strain our sea glass in this. But today, yeah. Lynn packs alone. Three years ago this month, Mike passed away unexpectedly. This was a couple days before he passed away. It was on a trip to Italy in 2013 that would mark the beginning of the end for Mike. The entire vacation, he was fighting severe leg pain, but he pushed through it long enough for one last sea glass treasure hunt. And that's when Mike found something they had never seen before. I said, oh my word, it's Mike's birthstone and it's our baby's birthstone that um, passed away at birth, stillborn, full term. Mike and Lynn were thrilled with their one-of-a-kind treasure, but unbeknownst to them, at that very moment, Mike's body was filling with cancer. Less than three months after returning home from Italy, Mike was gone. A heartbroken Lynn took her priceless sea glass treasure to a jeweler. And I looked down and I just felt like, just like the Lord saying, this is my gift to you. And I guess that's why it's so valuable to me because I feel like it is um, just a divine gift. It took a good year after Mike's passing before Lynn was able to start traveling again. In December of 2014, she took a trip to Orlando to visit family. On her way out of Orlando, she was flying standby back to Minneapolis, and she was in a hurry. Lynn had just enough time to do a quick change in a restroom before she had to catch her flight. She came into a stall, set her necklace down on a dispenser, changed, and then left. And I asked around whoever was in there if they'd seen it. I mean, an hour had probably passed. And I, there was a cleaner in there. I asked her if she'd seen it. I asked where Lost and Fallen was. I went to all the vendors around there, you know, all the restaurant people, and asked them if they'd seen it. I went and checked every single gate to see if it was sitting on someone's, because I was going to be leaving that airport. And I knew that, you know, I only had so much time to find it. And I left without it. That was tough. Lynn spent months calling and emailing the airport, but deep down, she knew it could be anywhere in the world. It could be in some little child's toy box in Germany or Spain or I don't know. I have no idea where it is. Now, one year after the necklace disappeared, Lynn isn't ready to give up on her search, but she knows she can't do this forever. So she's putting herself out there one last time. Please help me find this necklace. My late husband of 43 years found this. So far, the response has been overwhelming. You know, just the kindness of people replaces a lot of pain. A lot of kindness, a little more healing, but no solid leads yet. It's smaller probably than a needle in a haystack because it doesn't look like anything of value to anybody except to me who thinks it's my hope diamond. Hope that someday this one-of-a-kind treasure will tire of its extended vacation and finally find its way back home. Amy Hockert, Fox 9. But you know, needles can be found. And if you would like to share Lynn's story on social media and help her find that sea glass, we set up a link to her Facebook page on fox9.com. Mm.